So the thing is this, I wanted to ask you, how are you growing your collection? You've got the Omega Seamaster Planet Ocean. Hmm. What are you adding next? What's the oh, aim? I wanted to get a Pepsi. Ah, uh, Pepsi, Tudor Pepsi, Tudor Pepsi, 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 but it's going to be long waiting list. Long waiting list? Maybe. I'm not sure that... You know what they're going to be priced around, don't you? Like the Tudor Black Bay I showed you before, that was... Um, that 4410 or something like that? Yeah, that was... Um, actually, that was 4410. 4410 for the Tudor Black Bay. So it's gonna, it's got a date. Mm. So it, it, it's about just under, about for four nine. That's Aussie. what they're saying, yes. Four nine. So <clears throat> you can get 20% off this, but you won't get 20% off the Tudor. No, will you keep some of your money buying the Tudor? I think you will. I think you will. I think it'd be safe buying. It's very, it's fucking cool. Say so you buy it new and you lose 500 or even $1,000. That's not much in comparison to some of the others that. Yep. Yep, yep. It's um. I think so. So you you'd hope to get a, a Pepsi. That's what I'm looking at. Yeah, yeah I Pepsi. did like though the Rolex Pepsi that you had here. Yeah. That was sensational. Vintage. Mmm. The guy paid seven and a half thousand for it, Aussie. Can you change the bracelets on those Pepsis on the yes, Tudors? Yes, yes. You could put a Jubilee. Oh, I don't know what the Worcester. end links are. I think that I don't know what they are. If you could set it up the same as that, that would look sensational. And maybe better off getting the Rolex. Oh, the Rolex is going to be impossible to get. And you, you know, I had a, I had a guy, Scotty. He's done a few videos with me. He rang every dealer in Australia. They will not even. He can, can't even pay in advance now for it. They won't even take his money. They said sorry. Is that because he knows you, or is it? <laughs> he just. He actually bought a. Um, he bought a deep sea from Rolex mm -hmm. from a dealer. So he's got a good. He's on the mailing list and everything. You think he's on a? He's in their good books. And uh, they won't even take his name down. Won't even take his name down. He rang every dealer in Australia, every dealer in New Zealand, every dealer in Fiji. He's rang Singapore dealers. No one will even put his name down. And I, I gotta tell you the truth, it's becoming a situation where it's the, the people who are connected get these watches, mm -hmm. and the people who aren't connected get nothing. And it would take just in gold. Well, that's it, isn't it? I mean, I don't mind the date just. Date just is a cool watch, but I want a sports watch, don't you? Some of that stuff now. Sorry, some of that stuff's looking pretty aged now. It is. It is. It is. It is. It is. It is. And I, I don't think a thirty-six. I think thirty-six mil is too small. Oh yeah. You could. You couldn't wear thirty-six mil, could you? No way. Could you wear thirty-seven? Oh, that's too small. No. Forty. Forty. Forty-two or so. Forty-one and a half. I think is where I go. Oh, jeez. Mind you, it depends on the shape. What's the Monaco way in it? That's actually 39, but it's a square. Yeah, there it's you go. Square. It's like the Reverso. Like, mm. the Reverso is not terribly long, but it's, ob you know, mm -hmm. it's that it's that rectangular shape. Yes. Rectangular. It's not oblong. Rectangular. So, I that wears a lot bigger than 39. It's not really a 39. Mm. It's a square, see. And also the height and how they integrate the bracelet, too. Yeah. Yeah, it's very, very cool watch. Now, tell I me this. It. What do you have against Zenith? Or is it just a stir Clive? Oh, no, no, no. I just kind of, they've been a bit soft, the brand. You know, they're kind of, they're a bit terminal, the brand. You know, they're kind of, do you want a drink? Yes. Or would you like a beer or a scotch? A light beer. A light beer. Okay, jeez. We've got a Heineken. Heineken. Just Heineken. one Heineken. Heineken. Just Heineken. 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 Yeah, no worries there. So. Okay, so with the with the Zenith, then you're looking at I if I was Zenith, getting one second hand, would I be better off getting a second hand on Primero? Look, I got to tell you the truth. There, Zenith such a soft fucking brand. There's some good deals second hand. Yeah, I like the tricolor, you know, the tricolor chronograph. I think that is sexy. Anything but the Rolling Stones edition. That's horrible. Yes. You don't like it? That's horrible. What do you think of the ones Clive's bought? Fuck, they're ugly, aren't they? I'm not sure whether the camera's not doing it justice, but. I don't, I don't know. Well, Clive didn't think much of the reverse until he until he bought ones. As ah, now I get it. Yes. Mm. Now he, he said that, didn't he? He said, now he gets it. He gets it. That's exactly. That's exactly it. So I'll just pass you a beer there. So here you go. Thank you. So yeah, you your your watch collection. You're hoping to add a Pepsi GMT. Well, I was, but so, you're saying that the, the weight on that's going well, to be well. She is at least two years. And the rest? I think so. 
think so. Fuck, I hate that. It bounced out. Yeah, you know, I threw it in and it bounced. I think a GMT. I can't yeah, afford a three, two, one. Speedmaster, which I like. I mean, GMT is expensive. You know, like, like, like. Would you go for an Explorer too? That's like the the poor man's. Poor man's. I paid under five for that. You know that four and a half. I paid for that. Mm -hmm. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Not, not bloody. I do like that IWC Ingenieur. Mm -hmm. And the build quality on that is sensational. That really is. Well, it's funny you say that. You, you, You've copped a lot of stick for that watch. A lot of stick. Yeah, that's okay. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. I like to have controversial things. That's why I got the, the Tag Hoyer. That watch there, they were trying to outdo AP, mm. trying to add a Rolex price. So that they kind of failed because they were more expensive than Rolex and people just didn't get it, you know? But I've got to tell you honestly, completely honestly with you, I love it. I'd never sell it. I actually had someone who, I, I, I hated it. I got it and I thought, shit, I paid too much. I paid five. I'd offer you five. Okay, five, that's what I paid for it. And that had just been serviced by IWC as well, right? So it's box papers, everything. But then I, you know, then I sold it. Then the guy got shitted off. I, I think I said something to offend him or something. <laughs> and then I realized I was having seller's remorse. I didn't want to, I, I thought, gee, you know. See, I don't buy things to say. I stopped trading watches because what happens is I like things. I, I like, for example, this watch, this Monaco, I, I treat it like a, it doesn't matter it's I paid 4400 Aussie for it I treat it like a ten thousand dollar watch I love it you know what I'm you know what I mean I just wouldn't I'm, I'm crazy I'm, a, I'm 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 nuts about watches they make me happy in my life I've got carpet beetles oh how was Ringo Paul George John sorry your Beatles you're my Beatles yes yes that's exactly it the Beatles and um, you know I they've they're, they're real nasty fuckers, but the truth is, you know, I think the watches make me happy. Do watches make you happy? Yes. The handbags make my wife happy. What handbags? She's got a Louis Vuitton obsession. Oh, and she's taken a couple of... We've taken some of your advice on when it comes to watch brands and substituting them for Louis Vuitton. You buy the classics. Buy the classics. Or you buy the classic as a limited and edition. And she's doing Or okay. you buy the classic as a limited edition and you can't help but make money. Well, that's good. She's she's happy. Yeah, well, she bought a bag. She buy a bag here. I think it was yes. fourteen hundred or so here. Yes. She took it overseas within thirty days, so she got the ten percent back. Mm -hmm. Brought it back in. Or brought it back in. She's, the current ones current one is four hundred and something dollars more than what she paid for it. Yeah, yeah, I know. I, I know what you're saying. It's it's pretty. Whereas if you had have gone out and bought virtually anything else. No, Vuitton is a great. I I I loved I loved a lot of the Vuitton stuff there. I I got rid of a bit. I I. I kind of spent too much money. I had 82,000 in credit card and personal loan debt. Oh. You know? That's not good, is it? That's a lot of debt. It's a lot of debt. Does it make you happy? Well, it, it was a problem when I couldn't make the payments. You know, it was a problem. But I sold a lot of stuff off there. That's okay, I sold a lot off. But I gotta tell you, watches make you happy and what are you adding to them? So you're thinking of a Pepsi GMT? Well, I was thinking okay. of a Pepsi GMT. Okay. But forget I'm that. I think that just, that's just ridiculous. Too expensive. It's going to, not going to be available for a while and you want to buy something. So what would you get? Used by used. Used. El Primero. El Primero. How much are you going to pay for that? This one for about five and a half or so. Five five six, it's still a bit of money. Five and a half. It's a good looking, this one's a good it's looking watch. Under, El Primero's done a lot of rubbish. There's been a lot I know, of I know, I know. Horrific. I know, They're always just, I They're know. one of these, there's this company that just, yeah. Drops the ball at the last, uh, yeah. just fall over at the last hurdle and yeah. just do so. Hey, here's a great watch, yeah. here's great everything, and then we'll fuck the dial fuck. up. He'll <laughs> just make it something you just can't see. Then why would you want to screw the dial? That's the thing everyone keeps looking at all the time. Why would you want to get that wrong? Yes. Yes, that's exactly it. I know, and I, I know exactly what you're saying. So, what else would you get? The 321's out of my league. Ah, oh, fucking dear. Like, they used to only be five grand, you know that? Mm. They weren't that. The problem is too, a lot of the three two ones have been fucked with too. Like they've had parts changed and this, mm. and, you know, they, how good would they really, you know? The Rolexes, the boat, boat left on the Rolexes, that's gone. Yes. We can't buy good subs used anymore. That's been and gone. I think maybe Explorer 2, they're even going up. They're not that, 
I can you can see one of these like this is a no, later model no holes case one it, it hasn't got papers but if mm. it had papers they're going for low sevens I don't have papers but. then the other one would be the, that IWC engineer yeah hello how are you Thanks. he can come in with us it's okay and I love the last bit of schnitzel it's got all the oil in it mmm Mm. Extra juice. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. <clears throat> mm. And I got a band by, band by too. I got a band by. I mean, if I'm going on the inside, there's no more of this good food there. I got to stock up a bit. A ban yai, ban yai. Mm. Hey guys, my name is Paul Pluter. I'm the method actor who plays Archibald Chesterfield III, AC3. Guys, guys, I need a bit of help. I need a bit of help. I need a bit of help. It's very hard running a YouTube channel relying on Google Ads alone. I'm in a special niche and I speak my mind and I've, I don't have all those Seiko wannabes, all the people who want assurance about their affordable shitters. So I've got to really try hard to bring in the revenue. Guys, if you like my content, if you think I'm a great, great chap to have around, why don't you help me out? There's a number of ways you can help me out. This will keep me full time on YouTube. Look in the description of this video for some ways you can help me. You could sponsor me on Patreon. That allows you to send a small monthly amount to me every month. It can be a dollar, it can be a hundred dollars, whatever you can afford. The next way you can help me is, well guys, I, I really need some money to keep things going. Paid reviews. On the Paul Pruder channel, I run paid reviews. For as little as 20 US dollars, I'll give you an opinion of your collection, of what you're looking at, I'll try and answer. There's heaps of other ways you can help me. I do telephone consultancy. For 50 US dollars, I will talk to you on Skype or WhatsApp and answer your horological or personal problems. Any questions, I'll give it a go. I'll give it a go. Now guys, please help us out. Look down below and if you, if you, if you could help us out, I will stay here and make videos full time on YouTube.